Yeah. Probably not to, not to say comfortable, but how much do you feel like you've progressed here in training camp? Uh, I think I progressed uh, a good amount, especially after that first game. You know, it kind of starts to slow down a bit, especially going against you know good guys at practice like Chase Young and Carl Granderson. So. Yeah. What? How did the game go? I mean, was there anything that? that you had to adjust to or right from the beginning it, it felt like it was going pretty well? Uh, definitely like I had like a lot of nervousness going into the game for sure. had a lot of butterflies but after that first snap it kind of like it helped me out just to get like a, a bang in there and uh, but it was like everything we kind of like seen on film and all that practice for so. And you mentioned it's been a difference since you came back out here on the field the way you mm -hmm. feel like the, the comfortability and, and that helps everything lock into place a little bit? Yeah, for sure, because I'm like, it's just starting to slow down. Like, I was talking to Derek Carr the other day, and he's like, I bet it starts to slow down after that first game. And I was like, it for sure does. So, yeah. You mentioned Chase and Carl. What did they teach you? What have they taught you? Um, I think really with Carl, is like, he's a physical player. I mean, he comes out there with like a nastiness and comes out with a nasty streak. And I, I like going against players like that because, you know, like, Going into a game, I know other players aren't going to be as physical as Carl, you know. And uh, Chase Young, he's just a uh, an athlete, you know. You don't see guys that big and being able to move that good. So, what kind of role has Lucas Patrick had for you? I notice he's kind of over talking. Oh yeah, I mean he's like a father, big brother kind of figure, and you know he's been here in the league for many years, and just him being able to give me little tips and like reminders of different kind of plays, different kind of, even just like off the field, like, hey, how you doing? You know, like he gives me a hug once in a while just because, you know, <laughs> it gets tough out here in a camp, especially for a rookie. So he's been a big help for me. When did he give you a hug? Nah, any day I look down or anything, he just <laughs> gives me a hug randomly. So There's no reason, it's just like, uh, it's hug time. Yeah, it's hug time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but he's a great guy, so. Um, what do you like about the developmental period of your practice? Um. Nothing like specific. It's just me to get another rep with the the guys in my group. So it's just a extra rep for me. Do you, do you only take one? And then like kind of go? Or yeah, I only yeah. take one. But uh, <laughs> yeah, they just have me in there. So yeah, it's a good time. What do you think it does for kind of the rest of the other rookies and first year young players to, to get those extra reps uh, at the end? I think it's good because, you know, we don't always get to see the extra reps and just me being out there, I'm also a rookie. So, you know, I got to do what everybody else is doing. I'm not above or below anybody else. So I'm a rookie and I'm with them. And I got to get my plays into So you talked about your patience as a tackle. How, does, how do you develop that as opposed to being over aggressive? Um, I think just being able to get a lot of reps versus these guys, you know, and just being able to just sit there and just hey, calm down, like take a deep breath before you sit. and. Just being able to just stay calm and know you got to be aggressive also with your hands and stuff. So I know uh, you said before you ran like a lot of the, this type of run scheme while you were in college. How would you kind of compare or contrast the way uh, Clint and JP and all those guys teach him here? Uh, I definitely think it's like it's sort of like the same thing, you know, just running through your aiming points and all that kind of stuff. But there's a lot like different motions and. A lot of different aspects that kind of add onto the game, which helps like tackles, like especially as a rookie, I think all these motions, a different kind of scheme, like it helps like mess with the DN, so it helps me able to like take on better DNs and stuff. So we obviously asked you about that transition to left tackle so many times. I mean, you, you were confident throughout the process, but was there a specific time, whether it's now or first week of camp or anything, where where that comfortability really kicked in? Or? Yeah, I mean. You know, there's gonna be times where I'm down and thinking like, man, this left tackle stuff is kind of like hard, but that's like every day. You know, every day is gonna be hard, but you just gotta be able to push through and know that you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. So. Good. Thank you. Very All right. Thank you guys.